Okay, so I've zoomed in a little bit to show you how to do the measurements for the evidence. Okay, so I'm going to just choose something to start with. I'm going to use maybe this blood pool that it's labeled letter B as my first uh, piece of evidence that needs its measurements. So the general rule of thumb is to basically find the center of your evidence. Take your ruler as if you were using a tape measure in real life, like I showed you in class, and find the nearest fixed point to it and draw a line. Okay. Then you want to find another fixed point, which I think probably the nearest one will be right here and draw a line as well. So that is the two lines that you will measure the placement of blood spatter or blood pool B from. Then it's a matter of just measuring the length of your lines. Now this is where it gets a little bit complicated. So let me show you this. I'm going to scooch this over so I can move my lamp out of the way. I'm going to show you the um, measurement process. All right. So right next to this line, uh, I'm laying down my ruler and I have to keep in mind that my scale is one quarter of an inch equals a foot. So this quarter of an inch right here, that's one foot away from the center of the blood pool. Two feet away, three feet away, four feet away. And as you can tell, it's just a tiny bit more than four feet. When you're doing your measurements, you want to use just inches. So four feet would be uh, 48 inches because, you know, four times 12 is 48. It is a little bit past that. So I could say 49 or 50 inches. So I'll just say 50 inches. And I want to put my 50 next to the line. It doesn't matter if it's top or bottom. It just needs to be next to the line. It's inches. So we do it like that. This one is a tad bit shorter. Let's line it up real good. So that's one foot, two foot. It's a little less than two feet. So two feet would be 24 inches. So I might say, you know, 23 inches or 22 inches. I'll say 23. So what that means is that letter B is located, the middle of it is located 23 inches from this fixed point and 50 inches from that fixed point. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's try another one. Let's do the bat. Okay, so the center of my bat is approximately right there. I'm going to draw my two lines. When you're drawing your lines, you don't have to have everything lined up to the one inch. You know, you just want to draw the line. And maybe this one for my other fixed point. Okay, now let's do the measurement. Line it up real nice. So that looks like just about exactly four feet, so 48 inches. So I'm going to put my 48 right here. And this one is like six quarter inches plus a little bit more. So six feet would be 72 inches plus a little bit more. Let's say 74 inches. Now you see how I'm writing everything in pencil? That's in case I have to go back and erase it. And the reason that I might have to go back and erase it is when I go to do the placement of like, for instance, this blood event here, these bloody areas here on the couch, I might find that my lines, you know, intersect. And what if I have to draw a line straight through this 48? Well, I can easily erase that 48 and place it somewhere else along the line. So that's why I'm doing it in pencil in case I have to do that. So that would be my recommendation to you. When you're all done, if you want to go over your lines in pen and erase all your pencil marks, that would be perfectly fine. In fact, I would recommend doing that just to make it a little bit neater. Uh, but it doesn't have to be beautiful again. We're looking for accuracy, not beauty, when it comes to these types of projects. Okay, uh, so what would we use for other fixed points? Well, again, corners of walls make great fixed points. Furniture, not so much. You can move furniture. Could you use, for instance, this counter? Yeah, the counter's not going to move. Uh, could you use this door? No, doors move. So you just have to, you know, use your best judgment when it comes to what is and is not a fixed point. Again, uh, your measurements are going to be at all sorts of weird angles. That's what we expect to see. Nothing should be 90 degrees to a wall because that's just not how we do it. If you're wondering how we should do the body, uh, I will give you a choice. You can either measure from, let's say, the center, the belt buckle, if you will, if this was his stomach, um, of the body, or you could use like the center of his head if you wanted to. Uh, in my case, because I've already measured this blood pool, 
I think I would want to go with the center of the body and not so much the center of the head. So, you know, use your best judgment when it comes to that sort of stuff. Okay, well, have fun making your crime scene sketch. Uh, again, don't get too crazy. And if you need any help, I will be on the Canvas conferences pretty much all day, and you can send me an email at any time. Uh, and then uh, just don't forget to also do your crime scene notes, which I'll have some instructions about that on uh, Canvas as well. All right, have fun. Bye-bye.